You want to say hello? This early first day of the week, I'm out, want to do a video. We have had a tremendous amount of rain here. Let me just, uh, we can't see it, but that's five inches of rain. We're right at five inches of rain. It is quite wet here. But never seen a June with this type of rain. Got the greenhouse getting it into, I will. And we'll begin to put plants, prepare everything for the fall garden. And so that's where I will be working on the Akim out because there is going to be a fellowship family day just for the children. They are the school and uh, we're going to do a day of just fellowshipping and just fun. I am a party pooper, so I'll show my head uh, and leave it to them, the young ones, the families, my issue. But the garden is beautiful this morning. Oh, the rain. I have pruned all of these plants. I did this on Friday. Prune the tomato plants. We'll be eating here. We're already eating off the tomato plants here. Ah, I need to get something. Uh, just go with me on this little walk here. I forgot to get... I want to take you on a little journey down through the woods. Just a little bit. But we have wild dogs and things that tend to come around. And we don't play with them. So, it's one more little thing uh, I need to get. Uh, excuse me. And I'll just take something like this along with me down through the woods. I'll take that nice little Luger. Clip that on. Let me see on here. On my belt bucker. Because we don't play with no wild dogs. Someone wrote or they posted. <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> On our, on, on our feet, Yosef Yisrael, that some crazy folks out there, you all got to be careful. Let me say, my friends, we're not, I can say this for certain, that these people in this community, they know us, they know um us. They don't engage with us with any kind of stupidity, foolishness. And there is no one just coming here on us, believe me, no one. We got master gunsmen here. They hunt all the time from bow hunting, rifle, shotguns. We got an arsenal here for uh, to make sure that no one is coming down here on us. And no one has. I've been here 27 years. No one has ever approached us with that kind of attitude. Because when they meet me, they tend to like me. Here is the garden this morning, our friend. You. Down there, him is Achim Birmi. And here the squash. Ah, uh, we got squash bugs up here. They tend to suck. Let me get, ah, uh, let me see. Tomatoes. Getting this ready. We just going to put, this was a garden space. We're gonna put Oh, uh, wow. We're going to put some. We're going to put. Out here, we're going to put little fruit trees in, in, in containers. The water's running here. That's what we're going to do. See how it's dripping? They turned it on. Here, they're up more in the grass this morning. I built this and designed these little silly steps. Because I'm too big to try to crawl up a hill. I built this out of all old spare wood. We put no money in it. This old wood we've had around for years. And this is going to be where we'll set all the plants out this year. Those are the rascals. They need somewhat of a cool temperature. You don't need much sun. They need sun. 
but not in the sense like this plant, the tomato. They need plenty of sun. All of this. What did I do? Let me find that. Uh, where is my... Uh, don't have it. My spray. Make a water-based spray with this for our for these bugs I'll get it on the way back for those things that uh, let's take a walk and I'm going down to the woods walk this way all right how about that the deal is beautiful plenty of what are these? The deal, we planted all this, these pretty flowers. This is clover. It brings in the bees because of our bees and all that. Uh, tomato plants, we gotta get these up. The deal, these are peppers here. And these are carrots that was left in there from, from last, uh, harvesting of the carrots. It's a carrot in there. Tomatoes, the cherries. I do prune my tomato plants pretty hard because they need that airflow to keep down diseases. These, this is what we planted this year. It's time to start harvesting some of these. Oh, they're getting there. But these are the carrots. Uh, this is a, this is what they call a New Zealand uh, kale. I love this. I like to eat this raw with anything. And this is what we call lamb quarters here. I don't know. This from the islands, people will know from the Jamaica, the Bahamas, places like that. They love lamb quarters. These beds right here were just overtaking my little weeds, but that's all right. You're going to have weeds. You're going to have weeds. And you can see all my tools here for, to begin the work, to start seeds for the greenhouse. I put them out here when it's cold in the winter on this table, but that's what I'll do. Well, we're a very beautiful community, people. It is, it's very, very beautiful. All right, let me just pull another one up and see what's what. Yeah, they're getting there. I'll leave it there. I love for things to be beautiful. Beautiful flowers, uh, all of this to bring in bees and everything. The garden is spectacular. Not spectacular, but spectacular. The corn is towering. It's an early in the morning here. Uh, 7.15 when I came out. I was up, I believe, around four. I mean, five, five, late today. Here is plenty of kale. The corn, ah, it's tasseling. My, beans. Look at the beans and everything. The corn has produced tassels. And they have, we're gonna be eating corn here soon. And not only that, but uh, this is my, one of my favorite foods here, okra. Corn is doing its thing. All these beds will be full of things from the Braskas family. This is one of our Lasuka. I got to get that up and everything. Uh, let me go this way. I want to look at the cucumbers and things over here. I don't want you to be blind. Look at this, see? These are sweet potatoes here. And this is corn. And they are basically, this is just a flower. Sweet potato is a flower. But this is of the same family. Ah, oh, beautiful. Look at the beautiful. I planted all these flowers. Thank I love, I learned that from my mother. My mother loved flowers. We didn't have anything. But our home, the place we had lived in, had plenty of flowers and we grew foods. My mother grew many of few of the staples, not many, 
I have purple sweet potatoes here that I have grown for a special person. And these are all sweet potatoes and corn. The marigolds here, the corn here. I tell you, the best time to grow squash and eggplants really is in the fall when it's getting cool. I'm going to put some out for the fall. We pruned up all of these. Don't want the sun shining in here. Prune up tomatoes. Look at these mar marigolds. Look at them. Uh, the sun. Peppers, we're eating peppers now. We had to treat these plants. We have this kind of rain. See? Hey, Yosef. Look at that tomato. Beautiful. Look how big that is. Yes, sir. All right, let me do the video. All right. Look at these. Beautiful. Some artists here. Look at that. That's a beautiful one. Beautiful. No diseases and nothing. I'm telling you, you can grow things. You can grow things tight. You got the space to really grow stuff. I would, I would put some seeds in the ground. It's like you're safe down there. Pruning. All right, you're safe. Shalom, shalom. You're safe. I want to take us down to the woods a little bit. I don't know, uh -uh. That's why I had to go back and get... Uh, Go and get this for the wild dogs. I tell you what, look at this old truck right here. You are. Let me show you. I bought this truck twenty plus years ago. Old white boy, he liked me. I liked him too. I met a lot of uneducated white folks, but I tell you what, when you meet a real one, you meet a real one. He would not drop a dime. He said, preacher man would offer me $5,000 for the bed. He says to me, you got to give me 12000 I said, 12000 That's what I was looking to spend. She has been a house. So I gave him $12,000 for this truck. And that reaped other benefits from him. He was kind. I can say this to you right now. I can get twelve thousand off of this truck right now. Right now. Right now I can get twelve thousand. We purchased some of these little caps, someone on the side. You'll hear the birds. You in the city you don't hear that. I purchased this. This would be one of our lasukas when people come. Your wasad. Ah, the sun is bad this morning. And this is the house here I said I paid three grand for it. We built the deck and all that, all of that. It's a nice house, it's three apartments for the men. Now this is dark down through here, but it's a beautiful place. I want to share this with you, there's more fig trees. We planted these fig trees, one of the first things we did when we came here. We used to have an orchard here. But this is a beautiful piece of land. You come down through here. A little camper there we put there. That's where Akshimri. He's up there. I don't know what he's working on. His wife got a few little things in the bed back there. That's Akshimri. He's been with me from day one. When I met him. He was a young 18-year-old silly boy. He met someone. He was a Tremendous athlete in school, football, basketball. That's him right there. That's our Shimri. You'll get a chance to see him. He's going to be preaching soon. 
but he was an athlete of athletes. He could do anything, basketball, football, and I met my kind. He was my kind, and we balled all the time. All of this here, we're going to come in here and mulch all of this up, all of this. Listen, let me see this. Me a beautiful dark chocolate sister, four, five, son, six. I'll show you why. And a husband, that's a beautiful man that loves y'all. A simplicity, simple life. Sons that work like Zakhin Ya Ramayah's father. He taught them how to work. That's why Zakhin Ya Ramayah can do anything. He can build your engine. He can pull your tractor engine out. That truck over there, there's nothing he can't repair around here. And I want a beautiful family that I would love to move in this house. It's five bedrooms. I haven't been in here in a while, but it's a five bedroom house. Let me show you. All right, Shimri. That's my friend. Been with me. How old were you, Shim? 18 when you first met me? Yes, sir. 18. He's near, he's what, 50 what? 54. 54 years old. We've been together. You know he's got to be a raw man to stay around me that long. That's my friend there. Yes, sir. No doubt about that. That's a little cabin there uh, up here. I haven't been in here in a while. Let me just see what's in here. They keep the doors locked, my Ema. Do a nice paint job and fix it up. I worked in this house basically myself. I haven't walked up these steps and I don't know when. I know I can get in. Nah, my Ema. She makes sure that everything is looked after. Oh, it's dust in there, I can see. But this is a five bedroom house. We find that kind of family we want. I don't want these arrogant, condescending individuals that think they know everything. You can't come here with no dictates, nobody. You're not coming here with that. But this is a beautiful, beautiful home. When I say that, I'm not talking about an ignorant daughter or husband. You see, our men are not weak. Strong men fix all this up. We use everything we could in those days. You see this deck in here? I did basically this. Any kind of wood we could find, people would give us, we used it. Let me see if I can get in. Oh, the door is unlocked. But this is this home. The microwave. I did all of this. It wouldn't take much. There's a light on. I know this. I haven't been in here. These bulbs up in here. But it's in perfect condition. Where's the light? Oh, okay. Let me see. There it is. I did all of this. A little fridge. We have to show up the floors. But look at this. No one has been in here. And all this furniture has been in here. Beautiful stove. I want a family here. My heart cries for that. So not that I don't want people here, but you can't come here with your stupidity and foolishness. This the light's not working, but look at this room right here. Beautiful, clean. That's one bedroom. Look at this one. And I'm telling you, I did 99% of the work here. There's, a, there's another bedroom. You see that? It's ready to go now. Come from under the, the very, how many bedrooms? That's one, that's two, here's three. Look at that. 
Look at that. We'll have to change all the lights huh? a little more than here. Look like mildew, but we'll take care of that. We'll have to take that out. No one has been in here. And this right here is a bedroom. See that? Furnishing everything. I think I paid four or five thousand for this house. I don't think it was that much. This is a beautiful house right here. Wow, this is my first time in here. I haven't been in here. But my Ima Rafa, my Isho, make sure everything, and the daughters. What is back here? This is a bedroom. How many bedrooms? That's one. One, two, three, four, five. Here's a bedroom. Here. Y'all let that mother stumble upon this video and say, Honey, this is the kind of place we've been, we've been talking about. We use these old lights because we didn't have money. We'll take all that out, put LED. And this is a bathroom, big bathroom. You don't have that kind of restroom in your place, in your house, in your apartment. We'll change all this out, big place. Don't have, it doesn't have a tub, but there are places if they want to go bathe. We got shower house, they can go bathe. We have to get under these floors. This is a beautiful home. Beautiful home. It is exceptionally beautiful. Bedroom here, and it's a bedroom here. Master. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six bedrooms in this place. Come on, mama, with your five beautiful sons and very beautiful daughters. Come on, daddy. Sink in this bedroom here. We'll have to come in here and do, but this paint, my. This one, I could buy this kind of paint at Lowe's. And all these strips and things. I came in here. See these old lights here? Whatever was in here, we had to use that. We didn't have money. You tell me this is not a gorgeous home. One, two. Two, two bedroom here. Beautiful kitchen. Two big living room. We have it. Cover seven youngers. Two. That's three bedrooms. That's four bedrooms. That's five bedrooms, six bedrooms. Come on, mama and daddy. Bring your sons, your beautiful daughters. Where if you are to love him. And, uh, and what you need, we are here for you. We will make sure everything, everything you need. Uh, this kind of life is not something that is brutal, but there are things you will learn. Because the world doesn't teach you that. It doesn't teach you love and kindness, period. I didn't mean to do that, but I did it. <clears throat> Is this not a beautiful home? Is it? Wow, you know it's been a while since I've been here. I remember buying that, this couch here. I remember buying all of this. It's just amazing how it looks still. <laughs> Listen, I will be honest with you all, and it's no lie, small kitchen, we all eat in the dining hall, this is just in case they want to, mama want to make some cornbread or something like that. Beautiful home, and I'm just looking to put someone in this home. So my prayers, y'all send the family. Listen, don't just come here thinking I can get that house. But it's a beautiful home. Very beautiful. All oh, that inside. I did that. Dusty back here, that's all. So that. We will make sure. So y'all, I want the beautiful little country mama. That's, I love people like that. I don't like arrogant people. 
I have no time for an arrogant beast. Think they know everything? Is that not a beautiful house? I won't, I won't comment on that. That's the only reason I brought us down here. We're going to take out all of this. Let you know, Mama, so all of all of this. We're going to mulch all of that. And then when your boys, when they finish working during the day or in school, when they get out, they can come on down through this path right here. Here's the house. Here's a little path right here. Daddy loves to fish. Mama, I know you love to fish if you're a country daughter of Zion. You come on down through here as he was here. Yeah. Beautiful. We had a pond on this side. You hear the water? Ah. You also don't say, Ray, we can get that thing back up. Huh? We had at that time one, two, three, four, five ponds, all stocked. We had that deluge of rain that just broke this one down. As a matter of fact, we had six ponds. We had one on the other side. We take all this out. See, that was part of the pond. Boys come down and say, Daddy, let's go where fishing. Come down through here. That's where our land goes to the other side. This is the border. You have to bring my piece down here with these old dogs and things. This is, oh, got to be careful. This is the root cellar here. That's the root cellar. We got enough food in there to let my, we got probably 15,000 jars up there. I built that with nothing. Preacher, you want to buy these panels? I do. A lot of these old blocks in this building, this root cellar, they were old blocks that people threw away and we used them. Well, that's, that root cellar is big as this building up top. Let me, I got to be careful in here because it is slippery. These Akeem, the young ones been riding the four wheelers down here and they got as slick as ice. And I don't want to fall. I'm too old for that. But you see how big that building is? That's how big the root cellar is. So show no fallout, we can get down here, nothing, that's all of can get in there. This is a beautiful oasis. Your boys can say, Mama, eyes are top. That old Riyak, he been out there, he's been working harder than I've been working. I'm young, Mama. <laughs> I've had them to say that. <laughs> and I to be young. But this is a beautiful place. This is where the, they come down through here and they hunt. We got beautiful hunting grounds. They knock them out down here, I'll show you. Now this time of the year, you may run across a snake in here. And yes, we have snakes. We have copperheads. We have rattlesnakes. Not in the community. I haven't seen one in the community so long, but we got cats everywhere. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Serene and quiet. <sighs> this is so beautiful here. And it all belongs to us. Look at those beautiful trees. It's not my land, nation. I would not someone like, not someone, but all those that have given everything for this, I've done the same. You think I would not have this set up in a way for them? I have no biological children. I was talking to my natural brother. It's just only two of us left out of six. Look at that tree. Ah, oh, my. <laughs> we need to thin them out so they can grow. We don't have to worry about wood. If we have to... Heat ourselves. Look at that. Look at that poplar. That's what they call a furniture poplar. Look at this tree. This is what they build furniture out of. Look at that. Look at me. That's a muster. And we had a whole, we had acres of trees like that. We had that. We got that deluge of that rain. It killed them. It created a swamp because we have a creek that runs through two pieces of our property. 
One of these old, what's it called, flies. They're gonna come. Wet, it's moist. But this is our community. Let me let you see the road off. So your boys, mama, daddy. You say, daddy, we going fishing. Come on, let's go catch us some crappie or some bluegill. We got codfish in here. That's to keep it clean. But we don't eat codfish here. You know that. You either. Look at all of this. Mr. C. I gave him that name. His name was Mr. Clark, and he was a bold, bodacious man. About 6'5", right at 300 pounds. Kill. He had killed three men for record. And nobody prayed with Mr. C. He will bust your head as soon as he busts your head. This is the creek that runs all the way from where I'm showing you. This is the line of our land. This creek is the line. And I asked him to do a repair on a van for me. I see how much will you charge me, Mr. C? This is where they hunt. You see where they got the little hunting shed up there? We got hunters around. Look at all these beautiful trees. He said, I'll charge you $2,000. I, I, I said to him, all right, sir, do it. When can you get that done? Bring it down. And I met the man. And the first words out of his mouth, he looked at me, towering over me. Big my big hands. He looks at me and he said, and he utilized his choice elements of superlatives. He had worked at Arnold Palmer, one of the largest Cadillac dealers there in Charlotte. He was a mechanic of mechanics. He opened his own little place. He looked at me towering down with this. And his eyes looked like he's ready to knock me out. He said, you're the only, he used that N-word, that's never disputed my prices. Everybody come in here. I said, Mr. C, when can you get that done? And, and that was a relationship that was so tremendous. His wife owned a place that sold fat back in Chitlins. It was called Soul Shack. He had more white customers than he had customers like me. They come for the fat back. They come for the chitlins and all. The white folks. And your sons can say, let me see the creek there. Ah, then come here and catch frogs and crayfish to fish with. We're not as recluse or seclusive people. We want Yisrael to come. But I don't tolerate foolishness. I'm not one to play and laugh and sit around in circus and giggle and laugh. I'm not going to sit around with your wife or hug her or anything like that. I'm that kind of a man. Never done that. Even as a young man starting out in this walk. There were things that I just could not take part of. In all of my ignorance, I was just as ignorant as them. Look at this. You'll hear the birds. Look at that. And mama, you can say to the boys, boys, y'all better be back here before it get down. Y'all can you can get on them for that. Boy, they got this thing wired up. I don't know. I'm, I ain't about to jump no fence. Now here we go. You say, look at that. Well I dunks and everything. Let me get the fence locked back. I think I'll have to put a, do a better lock than this. This, what they would say, mama, mama, fish in the pond, we're going. Oh, the pond was extending all the way back out to here. Our property line is on that hill up there. Isn't this beautiful? It is so beautiful. You know it's beautiful. Boy, I picked the wrong time of the sun. Just rising. 
and I'll make sure you can see it. And then come here and just fish it all they want to. Mama, we got 50 fish. Bring them to the dining hall and we'll fry them up. Mama wants a few, take some. The sun is beaming. But this is all of our property. This is fenced off here. But all of this, you see that? It's crazy. You got families in places like New York. I was paid $1,500, $2,000. And I'm talking about those that identify as Hebrew Israelites. And they don't give a nickel's worth their worth of, I'll say it my way emphatically, rats ass about each other. Everybody want their own. Even if they got together and purchase a piece of land down south and go in there and move in the community, everybody around here knew, know what we teach. We have a radio station. We have a low power radio station. How many of the Hebrew Israelites have a radio, radio station low powered? How many? How many of them were aware of that 30 years ago when I applied for one, I got the license? It is hot. Look at this. We have all those diffusers in the water. Yeah, that's bubbling. Create oxygen. There are fish here. Only one stipulation, the big bass and all that, throw them back. We got big bass here. And the sun is up. If you could see those, uh, it'd be difficult. Those tree lines way over there, I'll get a better shot. That's where our property goes. That's where it goes. We owe nobody nothing. We pay no taxes on this because we are incorporated as, quote, a church. That's why I probably go to those trees right up above the hill. We pay no property taxes on this. Now, we do have land that we pay property tax on. This is, this is bad here because you can't see anything. I'll let you see up in the wood. You hear all the birds? Some of your children have never heard birds. You either. How beautiful. It is this one beautiful. I haven't been down this way, honestly. I haven't walked this in years. I haven't. I haven't. This will give us a better look. This is the pond. You can hear the, uh, that's our tree line there, but this is the pond. They can spawn up in here. I haven't been this way in a while. I don't know if it's wet over in here or what. I haven't walked across here in some days. The water used to go all the way up to that where the green stopped. I don't know if I can. I look for deer tracks. I always do that. I don't want to sink down in this because... You'll just bear with me. All right. Is that deer tracks right here? And see how that we got all kinds of artesian wells. See how the, this is an artesian well. See how it flows into that pond? See that? Look how that water is flowing. Yeah, there are deer in here. I know there are deer here, but I can see trucks. They come here and they drink. I give you even a better shot. Let me. You hear the bully, the frogs mating. And this is a big dam, the wall that they built. This pond right here costs us. $6,000 back in the day, that was a lot of money. But I know how to save money. I know how to save a dollar. They come down here, this is their gun, where they sight their weapons in. And all down through here. I don't want the sun to blur the vision, but if you look 
all over there, that's our land, all the way across, all the way up this road here. We're gonna go up the hill because these uh, flowers are running me away. Now that's one side I went down. Here's another, everything is fenced in. We have never had any problems with the people. That, they don't know us, but they, when they come or someone, it is one thing we've always done. As I showed you the last, how the large garden, People would come down the road, we had our telephone number out there, they would call, well, can I ask you a question there? How much you selling them collard greens for? I said, do you have a bag? Well, no, sir. I said, well, I'll meet you there. You can pick all you want. Sir, I do appreciate that. And people that are ignorant of that, they're going to have an opinion that means nothing. And we don't care about that. Let me get back to you in the large cities. Why haven't you all gotten together, you Hebrew Israelites, bought land for your kind? Some of these groups, I'm not saying that they haven't. But those that are on the corner in Philly, New York, Phoenix, Arizona, I wouldn't buy no land there. You gotta search the records, water rights and all that. We have all the water rights we want here. All of the water belongs to us. The only thing we must do, and you will do it too. There is a human resource specialist that they will come once a year and they know us so well. The woman that comes, she's a Caucasian woman. And you will see her driving. We have speed limit signs five. She drives three miles an hour. And she will always tell the daughters when she meet them, Zakhia, Zakhin, Ya Ramaya's wife, she handles that. This is such a beautiful place. This is beyond beauty. And she she's mesmerized. And everyone that comes here, they are mesmerized. Wow. Look at this land. Land is covered in the sense that we have a buffer. We have cameras everywhere. And we have gunsmen here. We're not looking to shoot nobody, but nobody's going to shoot us. Homes back there. Nobody. No one has any debt. No one has to pay any electric bill. The Akim, they go out and work. We're in that position now. Whatever they make, if they make 500 dollars, you give 250 here. You make a thousand dollars, you give 500. If you make it 2,000, it is the same for everyone. The mothers that get their social security have here. You it's all gone anyway by the time your little food bill, your electric bill, your water bill. We got pristine water. Everybody gives half. In the beginning, it wasn't that way. When I introduced us in the beginning of this video, Rock Shimri, he gave all. It took that. Oh, he had money. But it took 80% of his money. Sometimes 90. So that's what we do. Every ark gives half of their resources. Every daughter, these mothers, they don't have to buy food. They don't have to worry about the laundromat. They don't have to worry about Uber. We got cars and vans. So you're not coming here with no boy like that. Even that beautiful daughter and her husband and the five boys and the three daughters. They would have to come that way. Look at that water. All oh, this is water. We have one well that gives 125 gallons a minute. It's not that trash you drink all oh, chemical induced out of the cities. Buying water. We got some of the best water there is in our dining hall. An old racist white boy did that for me. He came here, he wanted to tell me a joke. He says, no dirty joke. I looked at him. I said, we tell no jokes here. No, I don't play that. He looks at me, he got intimidated. He said, well, it's not a dirty, I said to him, you tell no joke on these grounds. 
And the old white boy from that moment, he saw that I was real, and I was nobody to play with. And that white boy said, I tell you what, when he drilled all my our wells here, he said, Preacher, you don't need another well. I said, No, I don't. We got one of the most beautiful wells, bottled water. You ever heard of Deer Park water? You buy it. They have the center here. They get the water from here. What? 20 minutes away from here. We don't have to buy bottled water. Look at this beautiful oasis. Ah, I love my life. You would too. Dirty, nasty cities. Filthy. Sickness. Corruption. Killings. Stealings. Raping your daughters. They're becoming little whores before they even know what the sensual appetite of that pleasure is. Your son's looking effeminate. I don't back down from no man. Well, I will whip you, preacher. Well, don't come whip me. We'll sit down. And then I'll make sure you have a wonderful meal. Tell me what you like to eat. I'll get your belly full and drink some of this pure water. We sit down. And then after we talk after you, get your belly full, you'll say, preacher, I came to fight you. But I like you. That's what you will say. All right, this is one of the gardens here. Let me get out of here. Let me show you. This is one of our gardens. This is the garden here. We haven't grown it in many years. Look at that beautiful tree. Look at these oak trees. We got wood to stay warm. If we all have to gather together in two places, men in one house, daughters. Now you go down to your house and you picked up you some sticks. Well, as far as keeping us warm and healthy, we're going to do that. This is a beautiful garden right here. All these old tires, I was ignorant. I have tried every concept there is to grow things. I have. And I'm not about to move them out. Just leave them there. All these tires had plants in them. All of them. You got all kinds of that looked like a ant hill to the mama. But this is how we live. And we will let no one come in here and interrupt that. Even the mama with the five boys and the three daughters. Wise for the sons here. Husbands for the daughters. Beautiful piece of land. You hear the birds? Ah. Uh, well, what can we do that? Serve y'all. Love each other. Learn to love. You do more than you do. I guarantee you that. Our children take trips all the time, all over. As a matter of fact, they just went to the zoo. I don't know what they want to do next month. The feast days are all coming up. Maybe they go to one of the big parks here and fish and have a fun day. But this is clover. See all that clover here? That's what's in here. See that? Come on, nation. Why do you despise people of your hue like that? Why well, folks do the same thing? Why well, folks? Well, them dead folks down there eat babies. How do you know? Have you been invited to one of our dinners? You think that bothers me? Not at all. And when they meet me, say, Preacher, they'll confess their fault. Preacher, I'll be honest with you. I didn't know the kind of man you be. Look at this. Is this not beautiful? We got places. My idea was to have, we would have had a hundred homes here. And Mr. Mayor, don't get snazzy with us. The population of Jefferson when we came here was 753 people. Now it's down to 660, this little town. Don't get jazzy. 
If I wanted to be a politician, I could have been one. I could have robbed the people, raped them, taken advantage of them, and they would have voted for me too. The first thing I would do is start a car lot uptown, Center City. I had Zakim them to start a car lot, and they would come and buy our cars. Yeah. That'd been the first thing I'd do. Miss Johnson, how much money you got today? Now you know your payment is hundred dollars a month. Now how much? Maybe like that we only got sixty dollars. Miss Johnson, I'll tell you what. Give me that sixty, and I'm gonna make you come down there and rake leaves in our community. For the faulty. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna come make you rake some leaves. And I mean that. I like that we just so I just love you so I heard people say things about you, but I you have proven not to be that. Uh, yeah. That's how you win people. Well come on then for wonderful dinner. I, I tell you what, you can't dress with shorts and short dresses. Your titties out, your arms out, cover yourself. Same thing with your daughters and yourself. No pants on women, period. This is, this is the second pond we done. See how the water's running off of that? Oh, it's fish out here. I don't see that. Okay. They catch the bass in here. Let me show you. As in here. See how that's running? They catch them in here. Crappie. They, ca they catch bluegill in here. They catch them in here. See how that area is working? Oh, preach, you're gonna come there and fish. You wanna work? You come and work. We'll let you fish. You gotta get this clean up. I like things to be tidy and in order. This is our system. And this is a system here that will irrigate, fergregate this garden here. See these? This is a, I think this pump is close to $2,000, but it will move it. This is where our goats are here. Look at them. You tell me this is not a beautiful piece of land, my friend. You tell me this is not living that is comfortable. When the only thing you worry about your rent, your electric bill, your water bill. We have no water bill here. We have no electric bill here. None of that. We got to clean that out. This is where our goats reside. Again, it's over there, goats. You're not coming here saying, I'm going to keep 80%, give 20 or 10%. You're not doing that here. You're going to give 50%. As a matter of fact, you may get more than that. These are those that have given everything in the beginning. Give you 75%. You're in a debt will get you, get all that paid out. Hallelujah. Water here for the goats. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. We got us a new, yep. We sold quite a bit of our goats. We're starting a, a fresh. We got a male Kiko. And we want to produce nothing but Kiko goats. Uh, this is their house in here. Guinness right here, they're out. Ah, uh, beautiful. This is a beautiful place. Beautiful place. It is just so beautiful. You see all these little gates and things like this? I did this. I did. I don't boast in that because that brothers do things that are greater than what I think I can do. Yep. Where's my ball? Where is he? Where are I stand? Look at this beautiful ground. All this rain we've gotten. I'm gonna head in. This is a 
It's gonna be an hour video. Watch it. Break it down. This is so beautiful, this living. It's just beyond beauty. That's the house up there. You see that brick house? I gotta send the man a video. I want that house for us. We're gonna get it. So we have two guest houses. Two. The one with the blue roof, and we'll do that one, I don't know, an orange. No, sir, no, ma'am. You're not coming here. You've never even given a nickel. You come to our service. And I will send you a, a dress code. You're not coming here any other way. But as far, you won't even support this work. You will not. And then if you come, you expect us, we will feed you. That we will do. We will feed you tremendously. Not to worry about food. But as far as us giving you a place to dwell, we don't do it like that. Those that support us, they come, come on. Here's the house. So this is my first day of the week. We're gonna have a big fun day. I'll film some for Feed Yourself Yisrael. And I'm gonna teach on that what I mean when I say that. I really am. I came here, listen, knowing nothing. I didn't know anything. I'm an ignorant man. Still, I am ignorant. But it's understanding how to do this. Build this fence. Do all this. There was something innate within me. I didn't need no one to tell me. I knew what to do. There's not a building here that I did not build. Start the young man off, land the blocks. That two-story. Isn't that a pretty building? Gym downstairs, full-fledged. Pro gym. It's going to be a fellowship upstairs. We put a big monitor there. The young ones can go play some of the games that we will purchase. Ah, so beautiful. I got to get this zip line fixed for my young bloods. I, I did all of this work. And I haven't worked on this in nearly three years. I may take that pole out and bring the zip all the way here with get me a bigger metal pole. Not like this. I'm talking about something, some steel. Walking up the roads, I want to get that done before the winter. That's one thing I'm going to get done for my sons. And they will glide, they can glide from this tree here all the way down to about, that's how long the cable, it will go all the way down to uh, those, those uh, trees there, those berry trees. You see that? You don't come in here and do in 10 or 15, you come in here doing five. I don't care who it is, even me. See that speed limit, our baby's playing here. And for his cars, we have cars. We have vans. Just go the keys in there. Just go out there and uh, pick up your car. You're not coming in here on my babies. They play here all the time. And to do them harm. I will not allow anyone to do that. And that's one thing, if there's a pet peeve with me, you do that. No, you don't deal with my wrath. I don't care who you are. I didn't see the sign, you're a liar. You come down this road, there's six signs, five miles an hour. You don't come here doing that. Well, you so mean. Well, how mean are you that you would defy laws and rules? Let me say this. These are bees. Love them. Can I say this? The last time I had a ticket, I was pulled over by a cop. It cost me $18. With the court, that white boy knew he was wrong. He knew he lied. 
And he says, Your Honor, he's a very pleasant man, and it was going to be 20. And he dropped it down to 18 or 15. My memory is not sharp as it used to be. And he was, he was so apologetic because he knew he was wrong. I dropped my glass clipping. Well, that's all right, got more. He was so apologetic because he knew he was a liar, he was wrong. And so you figure that out. I'm an old man now. I'm striving to live to that 50th anniversary. Don't have a long time. So I've been around a little bit, all right? Teshua, the door, beautiful. I love this, the plants, the flowers. That's Ima Rafi and Zachias doing there. I love pretty things. I love a clean place, a stable community. I don't like nasty people. Certainly don't like nasty women. They keep themselves clean, their bodies, their homes. That's why I don't go in home, because if your house is nasty, you got a problem with me. This is Teshua. What we have, oh, this is an hour video. That's all right. I'm gonna add more to this this evening. They're gonna be having fun. We've had rain, it's humid, or rather I'm wet. But, uh, let me give my little friend something to eat. Watch them. They know my voice. They know me. <laughs> Look at them. They're going to come. All right, where is it? Okay. How much do you feed them? Well, the information about these fish I get from a professional man who sells them where I purchase them. He works for Coca-Cola. He's from England. He's from, uh, yeah. Matter of fact, he'll be leaving the whole month of July. He's going home because I want to get some large ones. And he won't have them until September. I tell him what I feed them. He looked at the video to make sure you feed them enough food that they can eat in five minutes. And I said, you feed them in the cool of the day. If they can eat it in five minutes, you feed them. And that's it. You don't want anything left in the water. It begins to biodegrade the water, make it cloudy and all of that. So I'm no expert, but I know my babies love fish. We always have a fishing day. We we'll always wait till the fall of the year. We fish. Everybody goes fishing. Prizes. We give them enough for five minutes. I let them eat that first. I'm not throwing nothing else in there. That's it. Eat those two pieces. This is Teshu Hebraic community. Where we're striving to please Yah, that's it. We don't have no prison here. We're not like some of these communities, whether those that call themselves leaders. Three, four wives and concubines. These are devils, dogs. You must always go back in Torah when you find things to the better sheets, the rishith, the origin, the beginning, and these devils. Yeah, it was Moshe that suffered us. Yah permitted it a written of divorcement. Now read the rest. But from the beginning. It was not so. These are liars. Any man of any strength and at my age, I'm no bellboy. 
I'm not a bellboy at my age. I don't take Viagra. I take vitamin D. And nothing. You tell me that a man can take care of four or five women? You're a liar. You're a dirty bastard. I said it. You are a mamzia. You're a bastard. What is a mamzia? What is a bastard? One that go contrary to Yah's ordinance, his ways, his mandate. These are dirty bastards. They rape your daughters. When they get tired of them, they'll rape your sons. The mama and the daughter. He made Adam and he made Chava. That's what he made. And he suffered that because he would have taken her out of the way. One man, one wife, one man. And these women are so simple and immature. That's why I say to you all, if my Ima pass, I will never marry. I've been around a little bit. Well, men in their servants or whatever get married. I wouldn't have that. I will probably mourn that for the rest of my life. We always discuss that. Who go first? It would be nice if we go together. I will never marry. Well, you, I will never. I'm telling you that. I will never marry another woman. She is the only wife. And her love is so pulsating and so genuine. You need nothing else. And the reason is that way. She has a man that loves her. An honorable man that honor her the way he honors him. She's my helpmate. She makes me and qualifies me to meet every responsibility. The genuineness of her love shows me the very power of your institution of love. Her honor is beyond our honor. I will not dishonor that with some the young woman in here. My wife is old as me, and our love is fermented together. It's been that way. I can say this like most of these men cannot say. The first time I laid my eyes on my wife, I didn't know ya. And I would watch her from my window. I said to ya, this is my wife. I didn't know ya. Didn't know a God. But I knew I fell in love with a Torah of desire. Fell in love with Ima Rafia. Yeah. I fell in love. Didn't know what love was, but I knew I loved her. Ya broke my knee, you should be encouraged. There'll be more videos today because of the fun day. So shalom, shalom, ya broke. I'm so